Don't chase marks. Let the marks chase you. You want to understand. You want to learn. And if you want all those tips and tricks to get your full marks in physics, chemistry and maths, then this channel is just for you. So subscribe, like, share and comment as you watch this video till the end. Let's now get to the business of earning marks. Percentage Composition It is an important term in the senior school chemistry syllabus of all board examinations. It is mostly used to analyze a compound and it is also used to determine the empirical formula and the molecular formula of a chemical compound. So what exactly is percentage composition? It is the composition by mass of each element of the compound. And the formula for finding the percentage composition is percentage composition of an element is equal to mass of an element in one molecule or one mole of a compound divided by mass of one molecule or one mole of a compound multiplied by 100%. So basically what we do is we take the fraction of the mass of the element in that molecule upon the mass of the entire molecule and multiply that by 100 and that gives us a percentage. And so if we are looking at the relative atomic mass we will see how many atoms are present of the element in the compound and multiply that by RAM that is relative atomic mass and that we will be dividing by RMM multiplied by 100% or we will simply call this as total GAM that is gram atomic mass upon gram molecular mass that is molecular mass expressed in grams and that multiplied by 100%. Now you will understand this better when we take the examples. Let us take sodium. Now if you look at the periodic table, sodium is 2311. Now can you see this? This is the atomic mass of sodium. So that becomes the RAM of sodium. Relative atomic mass. And if I express this as gram, then it becomes gram atomic mass. Did we understand the difference between relative atomic mass and gram atomic mass? Yes? Okay. Now, to solve any problem on percentage composition, we will have some tips to remember. So, let's look at the tips. Tip number one. Find the masses of elements from the periodic table. Tip number two. Find the mass of the element present in one molecule or one mole of a compound. Tip number three, find the mass of one molecule or one mole of the compound. Tip number four, find the percentage composition using the formula. And tip number five, present your answer neatly. Okay, so these are the tips. Now let us see how we apply these tips in our question. So we are going to take 2010 question of ICSC board examination. The question reads, if the relative molecular mass of ammonium nitrate is 80, calculate the percentage of nitrogen and oxygen in ammonium nitrate. Now, we have been given nitrogen as 14, H is 1 and O is 16. Now first step was find the masses of the elements but no need for that because this has already been provided. Now tip number 2 you have to find the mass of the elements in one molecule of ammonium nitrate. So now we have to find the percentage composition of nitrogen and oxygen. So we are going to first write the formula of ammonium nitrate it is NH4, NO3 and then we will see how many nitrogen atoms are present. Now this is one nitrogen here and one nitrogen here. So our tip number two says find the mass of nitrogen. So we will say mass of nitrogen will be equal to there are two atoms. So two into 
each atom is 14 and so it will be 28 and because it is the mass I will write it as G so this becomes my GAM of nitrogen. Tip number 3 asked us to find the mass of NH4, NO3. Now I am going to express it in grams so I am simply going to call that as GMM of ammonium nitrate. Can you see in our question we have been given the molecular mass, the relative molecular mass and so the GMM that is gram molecular mass of NH4NO3 is going to become 80 gram. Okay, so now that we got that we are going to say percentage composition of nitrogen. What will it be? It will be GAM of nitrogen and that upon GMM of NH4NO3 that is ammonium nitrate and we will multiply that by 100%. Okay now when we have the gram atomic mass of all the atoms it is going to be 28 upon GMM of NH4NO3 is 80 so 28 gram upon 80 gram multiplied by 100 and so let us see after cancellation what happens 4 goes twice 4 goes 7 times here 2 goes once and 2 goes here 5 times and so we will have 7 into 5 that is 35 percent so 35 percent of the compound is nitrogen and that is our answer 1. Now we have to find percentage composition of oxygen. Now oxygen, how many oxygens do you see over here? 3. In the compound NH4NO3 we have 3 oxygens and so we will write mass of oxygen is going to be equal to 3 into its RAM. So that becomes our 16 here and so it will become 48. But then 48 will become RAM. We will write gram here and that will become our GAM. And then we will say percentage composition of oxygen will be equal to its total GAM upon GMM of ammonium nitrate and that multiplied by 100%. I'll just write GAM, GAM of oxygen. And now that will be equal to how much is our mass of oxygen? Mass of oxygen is 48 gram and the GMM of NH4NO3 is 80 gram and multiply that by 100. I'm sure you are finding this easy. Cancel this 0 and now let us see how we can cancel 8 1's 8 and 8 6's 48 and so we will have our answer as 6 into 10 that is 60 percent and that is our answer. Let us now come to 2012 question that is question number 5 subpart 3 of A. Now you can see question number 5 comes in second section which means there is a choice question here. Let us look at this. Find the total percentage of magnesium in magnesium nitrate crystals MgNO3 twice dot 6H2O and all these RAMs have been provided. So the masses are provided. No need to look at the periodic table. It will always be provided to you. Now let us see how we handle this. Our tip number one is to get the masses of the elements which we've already been given. So tip number two is going to be finding the mass of magnesium because that is what they've asked us to find. So finding the mass of magnesium in this. Now how many atoms do you see? Only one. So the mass 
of mg is going to be equal to gam and that's going to be equal to 24 gram. What is our next step? Tip number three, find the mass of the entire molecule. So entire molecule of the compound will be, I shall write gmm of mgno3 twice dot 6h2o and that will be equal to mg is one atom so that will be 24 can you see this plus now can you see this is no3 twice so i'm writing two outside the bracket and inside the box bracket i will write n how much is the mass of n 14 and o3 how much is oxygen 16 how many oxygens are there three so we will have 3 into 16 written like so. Now this is your NO3 twice and this will be the mass of it. Then plus 6H2. So we write 6 outside the bracket and inside the box bracket it will be hydrogen. How many atoms are there? 2. How much is hydrogen? The mass of it 1. So 2 into 1 and then plus this O that is 16. Got that? Now this will be 24 plus 2 into bracket it is 14 plus 16 into 3 is 48 plus 6 into bracket 2 plus 16 and that will give us 24 plus 2 into bracket 8 and 4 12 so we have 62 here and plus 6 into bracket 18 here now 18 is the molecular weight of water so 6 molecules will be 6 into 18 we shall write therefore 24 plus 124 plus here 18 6 is 108 and this gives us now 148 plus 108 okay so 8 and 8 is 16 carry 1 2 and 2 4 and 1 5 and 1 and this one gives us 256 gram that becomes our gmm let us write our formula percentage composition of mg will be equal to gam of mg correct upon the total mass of the compound so that is gmm of what is the formula mgno3 twice dot 6h2o we write this whole big thing and multiply that by 100 percent did we get that all right now let us substitute GAM of MG came out to be 24 gram. We already found it. Where did we find it? Here it is. Can you see that? Okay. Now, upon the GMM of MGNO3 twice dot 6H2O is 256 gram multiplied by 100%. So, gram, gram got cancelled. Now, let us see 8 will go three times here 8 3 is 24 and 8 2 is now 4 goes 25 times and 4 goes here 8 times and so we will have 25 into 3 is 75 upon 8 those many percent yes now let us divide 8 times 72 and remain 3 so it is 38, 38 becomes 375 as a fraction and that becomes our answer. Are we understanding this? So this is how we've applied the formula. This is how we use the formula and then we've got the answer. Now let us come to another one. This is 2017 question paper. G second part. Calculate the percentage of water of crystallization in CuSO4.5H2O and all the masses are supplied. Can you see that? So no need to look at the periodic table. So tip number one is taken care of. Let us write the solution. 
percentage of water of crystallization in CuSO4 dot 5H2O and these are the relative atomic masses which are supplied. So tip number one is taken care of, right? Now tip number two is going to be to find the mass of this. So we write mass of water of crystallization. will be equal to mass of 5H2O, correct? Now, 5H2O means 5 into bracket. This will be 2 into 1 because hydrogen is given as 1. Can you see that? And plus oxygen. How much is oxygen? Here, 16. And so that gives us 5 into 2 plus 16 which is equal to 5 into 18 and that gives us 90, 18 fives 90 gram. Okay, tip number 3 is to get the molecular mass of CuSO4 dot 5H2O. So we'll do just that. Let us write mass of CuSO4 dot 5H2O will be equal to, now Cu is 64, S is 32, can you see that? So we'll write just that. In place of Cu we'll write 64, in place of S we'll write 32, plus O4 means there are 4 atoms of oxygen, each one will be having mass 16. So this is our CuSO4. And plus 5H2O, we've already found out as 90. So, what does it become? Can you see? Is it easy? Now, 64 and 64 gives you 128. 128 and 2 is 130. So, this is 160 and plus this is 90. That gives us? 250 gram that becomes the mass of copper sulfate dot 5H2O. Now the next step is to apply the formula. So percentage of water of crystallization will be equal to we take mass of this that is mass of water of crystallization upon the mass of CuSO4 dot 5H2O and that we will multiply by 100 and that will be a percentage. So now you're going to substitute in this and get the answer. Starting now. Check the answer. Mass of water of crystallization was 90 gram, right? CuSO4.5H2O had mass 250 gram. After doing cancellation, 25 goes 4 times. 9 into 4 is 36%. And that is our answer. Did we get that right? Give yourself a star. So that was percentage composition formula. And we saw how we used it for solving the board examination questions. Did you find this video helpful? Write yes in the comment box. And also let me know if you got a star. Thank you for watching. For more information on the concepts of maths, physics and chemistry, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you will be updated whenever I upload a new video and enjoy learning the easy way.